Hello and welcome to Copilot One. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we're gonna get introduced to Copilot and we're gonna see how we can use it for commanding or executing commands within our workbook. So let's start with the first exercise. Exercise one. All right, here I have some table data. It's got some accounts and actual and budget values. Now I wanna use Copilot to help me create some calculated columns. So I go to Home, Copilot. The first thing I notice is I need to have autosave turned on. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on autosave. And by the way, at this time, Copilot is a licensed product and it's not available in every Excel version. So your version of Excel may not have this Home, Copilot button. So my prompt will be something simple like add a variance column and enter. All right, so it comes back and suggests a formula. It talks about the variance between actual and budget. It provides a sample formula that I could copy. It also shows some preliminary results. But what I can also do is just say, go ahead and insert that column. When I hover over the button, I get a preview of that variance column. If it looks good, I can click insert column. And if I don't like it, I could always undo. Now what's nice is this is a formula. So if I add new values to my table, this formula will fill itself down. Now let's tell it to add a variance percent column. Here it comes back with an explanation, calculates the percentage variance by comparing the actual amount to the budget amount. It provides a sample formula that I could copy and paste, or I could just insert column. And let's click that, and now we've got it. And if I didn't like it, I could click undo. All right, so that's the first example of using Copilot to help us create calculated columns. Let's go to the next exercise, exercise two. All right, here I have a transaction ID, a quantity, and a price. And what I'd like to do is add an extended column. Let's see if Copilot can do this for us. Copilot, add an extended column, enter. And here it comes back with extended price, calculates the total price for each transaction by multiplying the quantity of items by their individual price. It gives me a recommended formula that I could copy paste. It gives me a preview and it also gives me an insert column button. Let me click that. And if I scan through these results, this looks about right. Now let's add a tax column at 5%. All right. And here it comes back with tax, calculates the tax for each transaction by multiplying extended price by tax rate. I could copy paste, I get a preview, or I can just insert column. And as I spot check these, these look about right. Now let's do a shipping column. I'll say add a shipping column. Shipping is free if quantity is less than five. Otherwise it is $10 flat, enter. Once again, it gives me a little explainer. It gives me a formula I can copy paste or I can just insert the formula. And if I spot check these, let's see if it works here. This quantity is one, which is less than five, so it's free. This quantity is 10, which is $10. And this is not less than five, it's equal to five. So that's $10. And all of these other ones look correct as well. And now let's have it add a total column. Once again, it gives me an explainer that it should include extended tax and shipping, which looks good. I could copy paste, I get a preview, and I can insert column. And as I spot check these, these look about right. And that's another example of using Copilot to help us create calculated columns where we can even describe a little bit more detail about what the math needs to be. Let's go to the next exercise, exercise three. All right, here I have a single column that includes the full name as well as the address. And I'd like to have Copilot help me extract certain values. So Copilot, and here I'll say extract first name. Okay, here it gives me an explainer. It gives me a formula I could copy paste. It gives me a preview, that looks right. So I'm just gonna insert column. And as I spot check these, these look about right. Now I'm gonna say add a city column. Okay, when I check out this preview, it looks about right, so I'm just gonna insert the column. And what's nice about this solution is that these are formulas, so as I type or paste new values, these formulas are gonna automatically be extended down for new rows. 
All right, so those are a few examples of how to use Copilot for commanding and helping you add calculated columns. So I hope this is helpful. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 